the fluid mixer and building it into a heat exchanger. Fluid lines will flow within the curvature of the part. This was an impossible part until now. At the bottom of the part, we have two separate inlets that will take fluid and mix it together into a single set of channels and produce a mixture coming out of the top of the part. On the side of the part, we have two ports that will take a different temperature of fluid and flush it through that center cavity and encourage a heat exchange. We printed out a 316L stainless steel with a 20 micron layer height and no supports. You know, we looked at the part geometry, a couple of the angles were right on that threshold of potentially needing supports or not needing supports. And we looked at the machine's capabilities and we said, you know what, let's take a risk. Let's put this machine to the test. Wow, that is incredible. This is the most insane part I've ever printed in my life. machine delivered. So the cool thing about this machine is we can manufacture parts like this that would be impossible using traditional manufacturing methods without a lot of design changes and assembly steps and we did it completely unattended. I went and handled other tasks, I came back, I raised the part out of the powder bed and I was blown away at the level of detail that it achieved. So from here we're gonna have to cut our part off our build plate. To help with that, we added a little bit of material at the bottom so that we can make a nice clean cut and maintain our flange thickness. So we're really just scratching the surface of what this technology is capable of. This thing can print hip joints, it can print aerospace parts, it can print lattice structures. This technology is literally changing people's lives. So like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.